The group Taliban is rapidly closing in on the heart of Afghanistan, Kabul city. There has been since um, intense fighting in areas that are a few kilometers from Kabul. We on Anas Malik travel to the province of Herat, showing us the modus operandi of Taliban to keep pushing on the territory. Let's take a look. About 850 kilometers away from Kabul lies Herat city, sharing borders with Iran. It's located in the western region of Afghanistan to the west of capital city of Kabul. Herat is almost one hour, ten minutes flight away from Kabul. Clean roads and quaint surroundings. Markets can be seen bustling and people are out on the roads. But unfortunately, the days are with the government. The nights are with the Taliban. This very market where I'm standing, this would wear a deserted look come 4 p.m. when the fighting commences. The fighting intensifies from 8 p.m. till around 11. Then we see air strikes and around 2 a.m. in the night, the fighting stops. This is the daily cycle. Taliban try to overrun the city every single day. This is the other side of the city where security is a big concern and barricades are installed to demarcate regions. Footage on your screen stands witness to the fact that violence continues unabated in the region. The shelling took place here. Vehicles were fired at. Walls were hit with bullets. The marks are a living proof of what really goes on in the otherwise quiet city. We are thankful to all the armies who are here. Had they not been here, our country would have been broken into, stolen into and robbed by these elements. These fearless people are fighting for their land. They have defeated the enemy countless times. The Taliban get out of their bin like a rat. They shoot and run back. Our army have been giving a tough fight for the Taliban and we have full faith in them that they would prevent the Taliban from overrunning our country. Since the past 10 days that the army has been guarding us day in and day out, we are fed up of the ongoing situation. We live in fear that what if a rocket lands at my shop and what if the Taliban take over my property? The army people have been standing and guarding us day and night. I am not convinced with the fight. This needs to stop. Whosoever believes they are on the right track, God will give them victory. Our economy and sales are at zero because nobody is showing up at the shop out of fear. We all want peace. Afghan civilians fear Taliban takeover. The ongoing infighting and frequent clashes post 4 p.m. have disrupted the daily functions of people. Some businessmen have been forced to shut down their shops. Violence takes place despite repeated efforts by the government of imposing the night curfew. The Afghan Taliban are said to be on the area that is towards my left. We've been seeing repeated airstrikes both from the US and from the Afghan Air Force on this on these areas in order to free them off from the Taliban. The, this road is the only road that goes in or leads out of the territory of, uh, of uh, uh, what is known as Islam Kala, the border crossing, which uh, borders with Iran. Anas Malik in Hirat, Afghanistan, for Beyond World is One. We are still in Afghanistan. Fighting is raging in Herat near Afghanistan's western border with Iran. The Taliban have taken dozens of districts and border crossings in recent months. As the insurgents are closing in on Herat city, local militia have positioned themselves on the rooftops to protect their homes and lives. Weon's Anas Malik gets you this ground report. Herat, home to over half a million Afghans, is under siege. The Taliban terrorists are closing in. Many districts have fallen to the insurgents. The fighting is getting closer to the provincial capital. Local militias have now positioned themselves on the rooftops. Armed with machine guns and rifles, they stand guard 24-7, ready to put their lives on the line to protect their homes and families. 
We on caught up with a local militia commander in Hirat. I'm standing in the Injil district of Hirat. Uh, you can see this is the militia that has taken positions. There was a fierce battle that was ongoing. If a camera person can follow me and I can show you as well, just 300 meters, hardly 300 meters beyond this area from where they've taken positions is a, 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 a Siyah Kuli. And this is where the Taliban are said to have taken their positions and they are said to have been in control. Uh, the militia that uh, that is being led or rather spearheaded by uh, Ismail Khan. You can see they've taken positions and uh, they've made holes in the walls. Uh, these are the bullet shells that have been fired yesterday. Some of the bullet shells that are here, uh, they've got, uh, uh, they've got, they don't really have many supplies, but uh, they say that they are ready to put up a fight. There's a light machine gun as well. Towards my left, there's a, there's a person from militia who's holding a light machine gun as well to my left. You can see they've taken positions uh, in order to repulse and, uh, any Taliban and attack those who happened to be just 300 meters from here. They sleep here, they eat here, they are here, and they're here. The, the people from militia who are mostly locals, who are who comprise of those who, who, whose uh, villages have been overrun by the Taliban, they say that they will, uh, they are ready to put up a fight to ensure that their land remains protected at all costs. The Taliban have been steadily making gains and capturing more land on the outskirts. The local militia can't let that happen. They want to reclaim their territory. Local militia commander is launching an operation. They have one armored truck, others packed into whatever vehicle they can find. As their comrades cheer from the rooftop, they set off to free their land. The militia is gearing up for an assault in order to take back the areas that have been overrun by the Taliban overnight. They're prepared, they're geared up, they have one of the armor vehicles, but they're mostly in a local means of transportation with the aim to not let their city fall at all costs. In the last few days, Taliban has made swift territorial gains across Afghanistan. And if these local militia don't stand their ground, Herat could be the next to fall. With Anas Malik in Afghanistan, Bureau Report, Vion, World is One.